Hey guys, John here and in today's show and tell video series I would like to do a video on the personal archives of Marilyn Monroe book. Now this video is going to be for all you Marilyn Monroe fans out there. Uh, I think you guys will be really interested in this. So in this video basically I am going to show you the book and talk a little bit about it. Okay. So first let's take a look at the front cover of the book. As you can see, it has a picture of Marilyn Monroe. It says Marilyn Monroe, the personal archives. And this is a hardcover type book. But the cover itself, as you can see, if I press it down, it feels soft and cushy. Now, uh, not as soft as like really soft, but it definitely feels a little bit cushy All right let's look at the side of the book there's a picture of Marilyn Monroe really silver kind of typeface in the personal archives by Cindy De La Hose uh, she's a film historian and published by Barons. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the book. Now this book includes 20 facsimile documents uh, related to Marilyn Monroe herself. These are reproduced documents but I have to say they are superbly reproduced with a lot of detail which we will be taking a look at in a second now I'm not going to show you all the documents in there but I'm going to pick some out okay here that you can see a sneak peek of what's inside you can pause that and read it for yourself beneath the makeup and behind the smile I'm just a girl who wishes for the world quote by Marilyn the back features a picture of her in a car right and there's the barcode okay guys so let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the book so when you flip to the first page of the book you are immediately greeted by Marilyn Monroe in a bathing suit let's turn that to the next page that's a picture of Marilyn once again and again there's Marilyn taking a bath let's take a look at the contents of this book and I have to say the main selling point for this book is the uh, pictures that are included as you can see a whole full page of pictures wonderfully taken there's an introduction you can pause that and read it for yourself All right Let's flip to the next page a child at heart and you can see there's Marilyn Monroe a picture of her when she was a baby now if you didn't already know Marilyn Monroe isn't her real name. Her real name was Norma Jean Mortensen and she changed her name to Marilyn Monroe when she started her film career. Take a look at the next page. There she is. And again, wonderful array of pictures. Let's take a look at the next page. More pictures. And this is a wedding portrait commemorating the union of Norma Jean and James Doherty which is her first husband okay guys so that's gonna be it for this uh, book now let's take a look at the facsimile documents that are included in the book okay guys so let's take a look at a few documents that are included in the book itself now I'm not going to be showing you all the documents 
but I'm going to show you a few hand-picked ones. So there are four envelopes in the book and I'm going to show you one document from each envelope. So the first document we can see here is a letter written by Grace Godard to the orphanage that Marilyn Monroe was at at that time requesting that Marilyn Monroe's mother uh, do not visit her in the orphanage because somehow it upsets her. So let's take a look at the letter. You can pause that and read it for yourself. Now I have to say these documents are superbly reproduced. As you can see, not only have they uh, printed on the front, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the back as well. You can see the uh, imprints at the back has also been reproduced. Right. Alright, let's move on. So the second document is actually a booklet. It's a nine-page booklet, which is uh, the, the script for Niagara. Right. As you can see, this booklet is wonderfully reproduced. It looks distressed, but it's actually a reproduction. Take a look at the back. Right. Nothing much at the back. I'm going to go ahead and flip through the booklet. See there, Niagara. You have highlights and notes written at the side, the margin. Right. And the next document is a love letter that Marilyn wrote to Joe DiMaggio. Once again, they have reproduced the uh, folds. You can see the fold markings. Look at the back. Another letter. This is basically a uh, list of questions which a journalist sent to Marilyn Monroe to answer. Right. Look at the back. Again, wonderfully reproduced. As you can see, a lot of detail on the back. All right. And the final document is uh, is this. Yeah, it's a contact sheet for Marilyn Monroe's uh, last photo shoot. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right. Let's take a look at the back. All right. There's nothing at the back. Okay, guys. So that's gonna be it for this uh, show and tell video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a comment, uh, like the video, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.